This is going to be a 30 minute full body workout um, to as like a session makeup. It's going into the holiday season. Everybody's skipping sessions for good reason. All right, so here we go. This is it for you. You're gonna start with footwork. Start in a parallel position. Make sure the center of your heel is pointing straight behind you. This looks pretty parallel, right? But that little half inch with my heel makes a big difference. So check it in. Shift your weight forward over your toes. Engage your core, navel to spine. Find the three points of your foot. Big toe mound, little toe mound, and heel, okay? You're gonna bend your knees straight forward over your toes. Keep the core engaged. Think about that length up through the crown of the head. Straighten your legs, keep the weight forward. Lift your heels up. Keep your weight forward here as you lower the heels down. Okay, and again, bend your knees. Straighten your legs. Weight stays forward as you lift the heels up. And then lower the heels down. And again, bend your knees. Straighten your legs. Checking out my feet, making sure they're still parallel. Heels lift up. The body will do that. The body will just, the heels will, you don't even realize it, and they're, they're turning in again. Second variation, bend your knees over the toes, stay here. You're gonna lift the heels, float the heels off the floor. Keep your ankles steady as you straighten your legs, stand up tall, engage your core, oh my God, and then lower the heels down. And again, bend your knees over the toes. Float your heels off the mat. Straighten your legs, use your core as you stand up. And then lower the heels down. I'm gonna give you one from a side view so you can kinda of see what's going on with my feet. Bend your knees over the toes. Floating the heels off the mat. Keep your heels steady, ankles steady. Straighten your legs. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. Lift from the belly. Lower the heels. Keep your weight forward. Try not to shift back, all right? You're gonna reverse it. Lift the heels up first. Bend your knees straight forward over your toes. Heels lower down. As you straighten the legs, zip the tummy muscles up. Try to keep your weight forward. Heels lift up. Steady your ankle and your feet as you bend your knees over the toes. Lower the heels down and then straighten your legs. One more time like that. Face front again. Heels lift up, knees bend forward over the toes, heels lower down, legs straighten, arm circles, inhale, arms up, exhale, arms back and down. My ceiling is short, so I don't really have full range of motion. You guys know what to do though. Inhaling up, exhale, back and down. Work your range of motion gingerly, inhaling up, exhaling back and down. We'll do two more. Inhaling up, exhale back and down. Just think circulation in the shoulder, work the range of motion you have for the day. At the bottom, you're gonna reverse it. Inhale back and up, exhale forward and down. Inhale back and up, exhale forward and down. Three more, and exhale, two more, and exhale. I'm still keeping my core engaged. I'm trying not to like, Wave around, oh, one more, inhaling back and up, and exhaling forward and down. You're gonna do alternating knee, pull, knee pulls. Stand with the feet together, you're gonna interlace your fingers over your knee as you pull the knee up into your chest, and you're gonna switch. You're gonna switch. We're gonna do, I don't know, a number of these. This is a balance exercise. As I pull the knee up, I'm using my arms, and I'm pushing into my standing hip a little bit so I can really get that stretch. I'm standing tall out of my standing foot. So I'm really thinking about my standing foot here and lifting out of that thigh. There, you're getting two stretches here. The stretch of the knee that's bending, that hip is stretching, but the, the standing hip is stretching also. So make sure you get both of those. Yeah, this feels good. Okay, that's enough. We're going into hip rotations. So now just rotate the knee forward, open and around. Circulation in the hip joints, just juicing it up there. Keep the pelvis facing forward. You should feel your core engage here. So that when the knee opens, you don't just like go open with it. Let's, um, let's reverse. Leg goes out to the side to come forward. You should feel like a little bit of a stretch here in the inner thigh. 
as you circle around to come forward. Should feel pretty good. Hips starting to get nice and warm. Let's do one more set. And then what do we have next? Oh, reverse lunges, of course, okay? So alternating reverse lunges, you start with your feet hip width apart. This is a balance exercise too. You already wanna think about the three points of the foot. Step one foot back, bend that knee, keep the weight over that front foot, and step together. And switch, other foot back, feet are hip width apart, step forward and together. And switch, and forward and together and switch and forward and together. I'm just having my hands in front. I talk about an imaginary beach ball. It's not important that you hold your hands here. It's just where I like my hands to go. As you bend that back knee, you are looking for the stretch through the front of that thigh. You want to feel that stretch. That's why this is a warm up exercise. I mean, it's an exercise, don't get me wrong, but we're working on dynamic stretching. Let's do one more set. I like to do, I like to do a lot of these because they feel good to me. One more set, last time. And then we're gonna do our alternating side lunges. So you start with your feet together. You're gonna step out to the side, step left foot out to the side, bend your knee. You're gonna bend that left knee, right leg stays straight, hinge the upper body forward to kind of, maybe you touch the floor and frame that foot and then you stand up, propel yourself, legs together. And to the right, bend the right knee as you hinge forward, and then propel yourself to step together. And you're gonna hinge to the side, and come up. And reach to the side, and come up. And again, this, the, the right leg here is staying straight and grounded. You wanna maybe find a little inner thigh hamstring stretch of the straight leg. When you step out, keep your chest lifted, spine straight. When you step out and you land on that foot, you want to send your hips back. Your knee should not go forward over your toe. You want to think about the knee bending and the hips going back, and so it really should be a flat back, a lateral position. Lateral? Sure. And let's just do two more sets. Getting that stretch, still working, Circulation, range of motion, the hips. Is this the last set? Let's call this one the last set. Feels good. Last time to the other side. And then back to center. All right, what do we got next? Okay, oh, wrist exercises, perfect. Standing tall, arms extend in front of you. You're gonna flex at the wrist, palms face forward. Stretch your fingers very far apart from each other. Straight fingers, you're gonna close your finger pads together, so you're doing like the chicken dance. And then open your fingers really wide, exaggerate that. Close open, close open, close open, close open. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out, all fours. Come down to the mat, all fours position. You wanna take hands right in line with shoulders, knees right in line with hips. Yes, just checking. All right, so first find a nice long spine, crown of the head reaches forward, sits bones reach back, waist is really long, navel pulls up to the spine. You wanna imagine you have your uh, candle right underneath your belly button that you gotta pull the tummy muscles away from without shortening your spine. Take the right arm forward and the left leg back. Hold this position, feel the balance. It should, you should feel a little challenge here. And then keep that navel pulling up to the spine. It's easy that when we lift the arm and leg, we sink in the waist, but we're not gonna do that. Straight arm and leg are just gonna lower and lift. Let's go 10 times. Lower, lift two, lower, lift three. As you do this, Keep the core engaged. This is an exercise for the muscles in your, the back of your body. Every time you lift the arm and leg, there's a little pause, and you wanna feel all the muscles across your back working. The back of the arm, the back of the leg, the glute and the thigh. Just make sure you kind of are mindful that that is active here. Let's do one more, and then lower hand and foot down. Find your all fours position again, take a moment. 
Aren't you glad we did the wrist exercises before this? Okay, left arm forward, right leg back. Take a moment, feel the muscles in the back of your body engage. Feel the stomach muscles pull in, find that balance. Straight arm and leg, lower and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift, hold one, and then place the hand and foot down. We're going for our side lying leg series. So let's lie into your left side. You want to line your shoulders and hips up with the back of your mat. If you don't have a mat, just imagine that your shoulders and hips are in a straight line. Bottom hand can go behind the head. Legs go to a 45 degree angle in front. Top arm is in front of the rib cage for support. Lift the top leg, the right leg, up the height of the hip. Feel the glute, engage your core. Take the leg forward and back. We'll go 10 times here. Two and back, forward for three and back forward for four and back. As you're doing this, you do kind of want to work a little range of motion with that leg coming forward. Keep it parallel. As it comes forward, it might want to turn in or turn out. Keep it parallel. Don't let it dip towards the floor. It stays the height of the hip. As you reach the leg back, enjoy that, that stretch that you get through the front of the hip. You should feel like that leg is kind of pulling long behind you. I'm going to go three more here. Be mindful that the neck stays long. So much to be mindful of. You got one more. And top foot on top of bottom foot. You're gonna keep that top leg parallel. Lift it up just 45 degrees. Take a pause and then lower. 10 times here. Two and lower. Lift three and lower. Four and lower. That pause is pretty important. Five, you want there to be a moment where there's total stillness total control. Uh, seven, eight, nine, last one, and then you're going to do your small circles forward, up, and around back. Ten times. You want the heels to almost brush past each other. If they don't quite, that's fine. You're just kind of, you're thinking that. Mm, five, six, neck long, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse, go the other way, back and around forward. One, two, three, core is engaged, navel to the spine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and rest. Give yourself a little love. I could just kind of make knuckles and I Beat out that hip a little bit, maybe a little massage. And let's just flip flop to the other side. So now we're laying onto our right side. Shoulders and hips line up with the back edge of the mat or your imaginary mat, straight line. Take the legs forward at a 45 degree angle. Bottom hand goes behind your head. This is not necessary. You can rest down on the elbow if it doesn't feel great on the neck, or you can even just grab a pillow and put it under there. Top arm is in front for support. Top leg lifts the height of the hip. Take the leg forward and back 10 times. As you take the leg forward, we're not letting it drop down towards the mat. We're keeping it the height of the hip. Forward for three and back. Forward for four and back. Forward for five and back. Forward for six and back. Forward for seven and back, reach, find that stretch each time. It's a nice one. This is eight, we got two more. This is nine, and back. Last one, 10, and foot on top of foot. Keep the top leg parallel, lift the leg just 45 degrees. I don't care how flexible you are, this is where we're going. You take a pause, you stop, you make the tushy work, and then you lower. Lift two, and lower. Lift, take a pause, and lower. Lift, take a picture, and lower, oh God. Five, and lower, lift six, and lower. 
Core is still engaged, navel to the spine, neck is long, eight, and nine, and 10, small circles. Leg goes forward up and around back, heels brush. Forward two, and around three, and four, and five. It's small enough that it can go kind of quick, but then you're still really trying to keep your pelvis steady so that the leg isn't making the hips move. Uh, two more, and reverse. Back up and around, 10, nine, eight, seven, keep the leg reaching long, six, feel like someone's pulling the foot, five, four, neck long, is your neck still long, three, two, one, and then we make a fist, get some knuckles, give ourselves a little love. Okay, and then you're gonna lie down onto your back, and here we go, we're gonna do the series of five. Starting with the single leg stretch, bend the knees in, Curl the head up if that's accessible to you. Uh, both hands around your right leg, outside hand to the ankle, left leg extends high diagonal. Switch your legs. 10 sets for two. And switch for three. And switch. And four. Switch. Five. And switch. Six. And switch. Seven. Eight. Two more sets, last set, and then bend both knees in. Let's rest your head, take your arms down. Let's do our reverse crunches for our double leg stretch. So head down, arms down, palms down. Both legs extend to a high diagonal. As you bend the knees in, you're gonna do a little pull up of the pelvis. Just a little one, get a little reverse crunch, get the low abdominals working. Inhale for two, exhale, pull the hips up. Inhale, extend for three. Exhale, pull the hips up. When you pull the hips up, try not to kick. Try not to, really, don't, try not to. I am actually thinking about my heels kind of pulling towards my tushy as I lift my tushy. Oh, it's hard. Ah, I lost count. Let's do four more. Let's call this one seven. And inhale, eight. If the tushy lift is not accessible to you if you're not rounding your spine, then just keep your hips down and do the exact same exercise. Ah, two more. Last one. And then single straight leg stretch is next. Head curls up, let's go right leg to the ceiling, reach up, grab the ankle, left leg extends to hover, pull switch, pull switch. You wanna get a little stretch so that it feels good and three, and switch. Really keep the pelvis steady on this one. This is technically an intermediate exercise, specifically because of how hard it is to keep the pelvis still when you have two straight legs scissoring back and forth. So make sure that you work your intermediate practice and keep your pelvis steady. What number are we on? Nine, that sounds good. Last one. And then you're gonna rest, bend your knees in, head down. Double straight leg stretches next. You're gonna take hands behind your head, curl the head up, both shoulders off the mat, elbows wide. Don't close the elbows around your uh, face. Both legs to the ceiling, squeeze them together, lower the legs down, lift the legs up. You lower to your working level. You do not lower so far that your spine arches off the mat, Oh, that feels terrible. You keep the waist anchored. Lower down for three and up. And also your working level might be different depending on the day. And that's fine. This is five, maybe. Six and up. This is seven and up for eight and lift and nine. Last one and up, and then bend the knees in, head down, take a breath, get ready for crisscross. Curl the head back up, twist opposite elbow towards knee as the other leg extends to straight, and then you switch. 10 sets here for two, and switch. Really exaggerate that twist so you get maybe a stretch. I know it might not feel like it, 
but this really is a stretching exercise. We got five more sets. Four more sets. And three more. And two more. Last set. And then bend the knees in and rest your head. Take a breath. Okay, we're gonna turn onto our stomachs and do um, some back exercises, but first we're gonna start with a cobra stretch to stretch out your abdomen because we deserve it. So just lying under your stomach, feet hip width apart, hands in front of the shoulders, lift your chest up, stretch out the belly. Just take a breath here, getting that stretch in your back, that extension there. And then you're gonna lower down and we're gonna do our back exercises. So from here, open your arms out to a T position. I'm hovering, my upper body is hovering. I'm not lifting my rib cage up, I'm just lifting my shoulders and my head up. Arms to the T, palms face down. My legs are down on the mat, hip width apart. There's no tension really in my, the back of my legs. And then I'm gonna stretch my arms like I'm reaching across to the sides of the room. You wanna feel your shoulder blades slide apart from each other. Find the muscle at the bottom of the shoulder blade. Look straight down, back of the neck long. You're just gonna lower your fingers, tap the mat, and lift 10 times. Two, lower, three, lower, lift four, lower. When you lift your arms, do not squeeze your shoulder blades together. That is not what this is. When you lift your arms, you're trying to keep your shoulder blades apart from each other. And that should actually make the muscle underneath the shoulder blade fire a little bit more. I'm gonna move my braid. Let's do, I don't wasn't counting, let's do one more. Hold the lift. Now you're gonna sweep the arms back. Keep the palms facing down. You're gonna reach the arms back to the sides of the hips. You are gonna lift your chest and your chin to look forward. Find the stretch across your collarbone. Lower your chest to hover, look straight down as the arms go to the sides. 10 times here. Lift, sweep the arms back for two, and open the arms wide to the side. Lift, sweep the arms back for three, and open the arms to the sides. Inhale back for four, and exhale. Inhale back for five, and exhale. And we got five more. I am reaching my fingers back towards my feet. So as I reach back, I'm reaching my arms down and out to the side. Let's go three more. And two more. Last one. And give yourself a rest. Just lie your right face cheek on the mat. Turn your head, lie your left face cheek on the mat. Take your arms to the sides of the hips. Lift your upper body to hover. We got one more exercise here. Palms are gonna face the ceiling this time and you're gonna press the arms up for 10, nine, eight. Keep your neck long here, seven, six. You're feeling the upper back, the mid back, as well as the triceps probably. This is five, four. My arms are still reaching long towards my toes. Three, two, hold the lift, and then take your hands in front of your shoulders and shift back for a child's pose. Take a stretch, stretch through the back, stretch through the shoulders. Let's walk both hands to the right, rotate the left armpit down, feel that stretch through the left side of the rib cage, and then walk both hands to the left, rotate your right armpit down, feel that stretch through the rib cage. And we're gonna lie onto our back, and we're gonna do one one set of pelvic lifts, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> lying down, have your feet parallel, hip width apart, arms down to your sides. You're gonna curl the tailbone up, 
roll the hips off the mat, articulate the spine. When you get to the top, you wanna anchor into the feet and see if you can kind of pull your hips towards your heels. That should turn your glutes and your hamstrings on nice. You wanna keep that pull. Actively keep the feet pulling towards you, at, towards your hips, towards your feet as you do this. You're gonna roll the hips down. I'm still pulling my hips towards my heels. I release my tailbone and I curl up again. Curl my tailbone up, pull my hips towards my heels. As I lift, get a stretch, if you can, find the stretch through the top of the thigh, and then roll the hips back down, slowly releasing the tailbone. Check in with the head, neck, and shoulders. Try not to carry additional tension up here. Uh, that was two, this is three, we'll do 10 of these. Roll it up, lift, and then roll it back down. Lift for four, pulling your hips to your heels, articulating up through the spine, and then rolling the hips back down. And then curling up for five. Neck is long, and lower the hips down. We got five more. Find an imaginary something between your legs, like maybe an imaginary squishy ball or an imaginary yoga block, anything that turns your inner thighs on. You don't wanna be doing pelvic lifts and have your knees start opening out to the side. It's not gonna hurt you, but um, you should notice that as soon as you grab that imaginary squishy ball or yoga block and you engage your inner thighs, your tushy works more efficiently. All right, that's why. That's why we do it. If you have a squishy ball or a yoga block, you could actually grab one and it would be less imaginary and more tushy. Uh, two more, roll it up and roll it down. All right, one more. You're gonna hold the lift on this last one and you're gonna do 10 sets of marching. Lift your right leg, lower, lift your left leg, lower and switch and lower and switch. You're not really holding that leg up there for any like significant amount of time. You're just feeling that shift in the pelvis or resisting the shift in the pelvis. The core has to kick in, getting a little extra burn through the tushy as we're here. Check in with the jaw, the neck and the shoulders. Those guys like to take tension that is supposed to be in the tushy. How many more sets? Five more? That seems about right. We go switch and switch, four more, switch, and switch, three more, and switch. Keep that core engaged, really try not the pelvis shift side to side too much. It'll happen a little bit, but we resist it. We got one more, right, and left, and lower the hips down. Bend your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug, take a moment. Let's go figure four from here. Cross left or right ankle over left thigh. Wrap your hands behind that left thigh. Pull the knee in. You can use your right elbow to kind of push into that right knee and get this stretch here in that right hip. Drop your chin, make sure your neck is long. Feel your tailbone kind of lengthening down towards the mat. And then switcheroo. Left foot over right thigh, interlace the hands around the right thigh, pull that knee in if you can. Maybe you can push your left elbow into that left knee, drop your chin, make sure your neck is long, try to feel your tailbone heavy to the mat. Taking a breath here. And then come back up to sitting. We're gonna go into our plank series here. So we're gonna go onto a forearm plank and we're gonna do sternum drops. Okay, so in your plank, hands, elbows right in line with the shoulders in a railroad track kind of situation, I'd, I don't want that, okay? So you got a nice parallel position with your hands. You're gonna send one leg back at a time, find your plank in your plank position. So your sternum drop, you're just gonna lower your sternum and then you're gonna lift your sternum. So it's like you're gonna kind of cave in between the shoulder blades and then lift up and dome between the shoulder blades. And you're gonna lower the sternum and lift. Lower for three and lift. We're doing 10 of these. Lower for four and lift. You gotta take breaks if you need to. These are not easy. Give a good amount of challenge. 
And your range of motion will be very dependent on the range of motion in your shoulders. So try to really feel it's the shoulder blades moving and then pressing up. We got two more. And lift. One more. And lift. And then let's lower the knees. Shift back. Do a little shoulder roll. Work it out. And then we're gonna do alternating side planks from your forearm plank, okay? You're gonna set up with your feet, hip width apart. Uh, I think we should do eight sets of these. We'll see. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna rotate towards me, rotate towards the right. Lift that right arm up. Your feet are just gonna pivot. Hips stay lifted, neck is long. And rotate down. And switch. Feet pivot all the way. And switch. Let those feet rotate. Don't let those hips drop. And switch. And up. And switch. And lift. Is this the third set? I think so. And switch. Again, feel those hips kind of almost like they're lifted. And you're lifting to rotate and lifting to rotate. They're never dipping. Uh, do we have four more sets? You want to feel the muscles in your back working, in your latissimus dorsi, in your lat. And switch. Feel your obliques definitely working. Shoulders are working for sure. Do we have two more sets? Let's go two more sets. Keep your neck long as much as possible. If you can't make the full rotation, that's fine. Just rotate as much as you can. And this is the last one. And lower down, bend your knees, send your hips back, take another child's pose. And then we go for a pigeon just to end on a nice note. Take your right knee forward, rotate that foot kind of in front of the opposite hip. Scoot the hips down and back, kind of sink into it. Lift your chest, get a nice stretch in the spine here, and then come down to the forearms. You can even cross your forearms over each other and let the forehead rest down on the forearms. It's a really nice passive variation here. You can just take a moment, take a breath, stretch into that hip, let it release through the back. One more breath. Because those glute muscles are big muscles. you got to take a second to let them really release. And then the hands walk us up. We shift that leg back. Take a moment. Let your hips just kind of take a reprieve. You're going to take right leg forward, other leg forward, doesn't matter. Foot goes in front of the opposite hip. That knee is pretty much in line with my hip, a little bit out to the side. So that's the position I'm in. Sink my hips down. My back leg, you almost want to feel like you're internally rotating that thigh, rotating that back hip towards the mat. Nice lift in the chest, feeling the stretch in the spine, and then coming down onto the forearms. Maybe we cross forearms over each other. We rest the forehead onto the forearms. We take three breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Two more breaths, taking your time with it here, inhaling, feeling those glute muscles relax and release as you exhale. One more, thinking about how this stretch is doing lots of good for your low back as well as your glutes, hips, and thighs. And then walk the hands back up. Send that leg back, take a brief child's pose just to give the hips a moment. And then there you have it. That is your makeup session for any session that you might miss. All right, thank you.